So, let's start the new show. What's cooking money and life movement? JG Ramos here. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome to the premiere of the newest kid on the home business block. Or the home business universe. The home bizverse, so to speak. Advocacy Friday. If you're a home-based brand like me, you should glue your eyes to the show. Because, well, in the first part of the show, I take out a post from my main blog, right? Link in the description below, okay? And expand it a bit for the current times. Then, we will talk about my favorite part, the objection of the week. You want to know that part of the show? Well, <laughs> watch till the end. That's the only way. Now, <clears throat> Since this is the first episode of the show, I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to pull out my, shall we say, my most evergreen post, right? My most searched post, to be exact. It's entitled, Conscious Coherent Cooperative, okay? Now, there's a backstory to this post. My dad <clears throat> was uh, was hospitalized for the second time. This was around 2015, uh, early 2015. Okay, it was several months before he passed away, and I had nothing to do because I was I was tending to his care. So I wrote this post, and I gave it a sort of an analogy between my profession, which is physical therapy, to network marketing. Now, let me get my notes, okay? During those times, um, I really had nothing to do except write, okay? Write on my blog. <clears throat> Ideas were flowing, uh, were coming from the most unlikely of places. Okay, here we are. Okay, so... Conscious Created Cooperative is also known as the three C's okay, of uh, when it comes to when it comes to dealing with patients. Okay, when it comes to dealing with patients, <clears throat> when a patient is conscious, uh, that person, that patient can only be well, can only be aware of this immediate environment, but he can't express it fully. Okay? He can be deemed as only conscious. But if he can, he's now classified as coherent. Okay? If he does all three things, okay? If he's aware of his immediate environment, he expresses it fully and he gives it either a yes or a no, right? The patient is now classified as cooperative. All right, which is good for us, okay? If he's conscious, coherent, and cooperative, uh, a patient usually responds to treatment very well, whether he likes it or not. <laughs> whether he likes it or not, he will respond to a treatment well because, well, the most important member of a medical, of a standard medical team is the patient. Okay, that's what they, that's what, uh, that's what they taught us at, uh, at college, PT school. So in this article, I also gave it an, gave it a sort of an analogy and I compared it to, well, I compared it to how a network marketer will deal with, uh, with prospects. So let me get, let me get back in my notes because I got so many blog I got so many posts on that blog of mine, all right? I can't remember them all. But this, this uh, particular post of mine is my most searched, therefore becoming my, my evergreen content, okay? my first evergreen content. Now, I said here in the post, okay, I hope you've already, you've already seen the blog post. Have you clicked that link already? I hope so. So that you'll be you'll be the you'll be in the flow of the conversation while I'm uh, while I'm talking here. So, if you're a prospect and you've heard or seen a business opportunity or product before, 
but never uh what's called this never dove into the details you're just conscious of the opportunity okay but if you did request it but you but it never sank into it never sank into your brain uh, of how uh, how much impact the business opportunity or product can uh, can deal to your life you're just being coherent okay? you're just being coherent but if you fully understood it even the stakes okay even what it takes <clears throat> excuse me even what it takes to uh, to have this opportunity or product into your life, you're being cooperative. Okay, you fully understood everything about the product or the opportunity or the business opportunity. Now, these days, uh, the three C's can be applied not just to network marketers, not just to network marketing. It can also be applied to affiliate marketing. Uh, influencer marketing okay and of course well the selling profession the profession of sales okay the most noble of all professions <laughs> i base it on uh trust me when i say it's the most noble of all professions because i am because i am a salesman myself okay now here's one thing <clears throat> You fully understood the stakes of the product or the opportunity, but you didn't take action. Okay? Ni ha, ni ho. Wala. Wa. I can classify you now as uncooperative. Okay? Well, I don't know why, why people don't take action on some things. All right? I don't know the logic behind it, okay? I'm 46 years old and up to now, I still don't know the logic behind it of not taking action, okay? A simple yes or no would do. If you ask me. If you ask me, a simple yes or no would do. So, yeah, if, well, if you don't take action, you're uncooperative because you are going against the flow of well, the flow of nature, okay? The universe only understands uh, two words when someone makes a decision. Yes or no. There's no in-between. There's no uh, inaction, okay? By saying, by, by saying yes or no to a product or business opportunity, you're going with the flow, all right? It's okay to say no, okay? There's not, it's not a sin, okay? Get that into your heads. It is not a sin to say no. There's a lot of power in saying either yes or no, actually. So don't be scared. Don't be scared to say, if you're a, if you're a prospect, if, you're, if someone is uh, offering you a product or business opportunity and you're not sure, you're not sure about 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 that you're not sure about that thing you just say no graciously say no there's nothing i'm sure the person offering you won't take offense to it all right especially if it's a especially if he or she is a veteran home base and trap all right no the veterans are really patient with veteran entrepreneurs are really patient with those kinds of decisions but uh not taking action it's a it's uh it's something we it's something all entrepreneurs have in common we don't waste time with people who don't take action i'm sorry <laughs> i am very sorry but if you don't take action <laughs> i'm moving on because we're just wasting we're just wasting our time here all right so well if you want to uh read more about that article well of course hit that link in the description so you can read it fully you can comment uh you can leave your comments there or better yet you can leave your comments here okay in the comment section right here after reading it so 
well either way i can either way i can read it okay? on either platform i can read those uh, i can read your comments right now that it's over and done with on to the objection of the week but first a word from our sponsor to uh, pitch this product to you. Right. Spartan hands, zero messiness, all natural ingredients. Packet of Compared to the other hand sanitizers, you need to messy, right? The sanitizer itself is uh, evenly distributed because it's spray time, right? <clears throat> white tea and uh, white tea and ginger on the scent, very manly. Okay, bagi sa lalaki. Now there are other there are other scents to choose from. If you want yours? Okay. But let me tell you again, Spartan Hands is the best hand sanitizer on the go. Okay. The best on the go hand sanitizer right now. And, I, and I'm not saying uh, because uh, I'm, I'm one of their ambassadors, but as a user. Okay. As a user. Now, again, if you want this, if you want your own, uh, what's this? your own Spartan Hands hand sanitizer, all you have to do is click the link, click the relevant link below to order and use my code money and life 10. It's in the subtitles already. Copy that copy that code so that you can get 10% off your order. Actually you can use my code to get 10% off of any order. Right? Any order, any item. Kasi hindi lang ito ang hindi lang ito ang produkto nila. But I chose this because ganda siya. Maganda hand sanitizer ito. So, I repeat it again. Spartan Hands Money Life 10 for 10% off. Mm. Oh! <laughs> the commercial's done? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on to the objection of the week. Hey, okay. <clears throat> I made this. I made this show for a reason. All right, the um, the blog, the blog nostalgia is just uh, what you call this the um, the appetizer. Okay, in a the appetizer in a in a keto meal. <laughs> okay, the main course of this show is this one. The objection of the week were well basically I um uh, I state a, uh, a an objection that I've heard over the years as a um, as a home base as a home base and trap network marketer influencer uh, consultant some objections I've heard over and over again but up to now it's still ringing in my head <laughs> So I'm going to explain the objection of the week from the standpoint of the seller and from the standpoint of the prospect. Because I've been both, okay? I've been on both sides of the coin, so to speak. Now, the very first objection of the week is no money, right? I don't have any money. I don't have... Uh, what you what you call this? I don't know if my funds are right. Fuck. Pathetic as fuck. Okay. Now there's nothing wrong. Okay. To me, uh, when a prospect says he or she doesn't have any money, it's a valid reason. Okay. Normally, we shouldn't mind. We shouldn't. Uh, we shouldn't meddle into the affair, into the uh, financial affairs of 
anyone except our own. But there's still a chat. There's still a chance you can salvage the transaction. Okay, don't lose hope. All right, it's okay if, if the prospect says if you're the seller. If from the from the standpoint of the seller, okay, if the prospect says that she, that uh, wala siyang pera or yeah, she doesn't he or she doesn't have any money, take their word for it. And always keep in touch with that person. Okay? But do not offer them financial help. Okay? This is a big mistake. It's a huge mistake on your part if you actually offer them financial help. Alright? You don't want anyone to be financially dependent on you. Well, except you except, well, if you're if you have a family, your wife and kids. That's the only exception to the rule. But if it's if you're not married, you don't have any if you're not married, if you don't have any kids, you shouldn't let anybody, okay? You should not let anybody be financially dependent on you. You can offer advice, but don't lend them money. Okay? Just take their word for it if they say they don't have any money. Then just keep in touch with them. Okay? Always keep in touch. Always keep in touch with them. But don't actually uh, repeat uh, your offer. Alright? Now is not the time. Okay? When someone says, I don't have any money, just keep in touch. Take their word for it. Just keep in touch. That's all you have to do. Now, if you're the prospect... I don't know. <laughs> when I look back and I I said those words before. Right? When I was younger, I don't have any money. Long baby. That's not an excuse not to uh not to go look for opportunities to make money. Okay? If you say I don't have the money all the time, right? Like clockwork Right? On a regular basis, you say those th you say you say to everybody that you don't have any money. Guess what? Money's not gonna come to you. You will not attract money that way. Okay, I'm saying this from the standpoint of the prospect. Okay. So you keep on saying that. <laughs> don't expect money to to actually fall on your lap. Okay. Don't expect money to march through your back door. Okay, don't expect money to, to come your way because you yourself is telling the universe that, well, you don't have any money. You're, you're, you're always keeping your, you're always, you always keep, you always tell yourself that. So, well, the universe says, okay, you don't have any money, so be it. That's, that's all it's going to do. It's not going to, it's not going to uh, send money your way. Because, well, you keep on saying that you don't have any money. Law of Attraction 101, folks. You say those things to a seller. I don't know if you can, I don't know if, uh, if he or she can trust you. Because you, you always say that you don't have any money. All right? So my, so as a former, as a uh, pros, as a prospect, sometimes here's my advice: never tell yourself you don't have any money. Never tell yourself. Ako, pag hindi ko kaya bilin ng isang bagay, I just well, I just tell myself, how can I afford that? Hmm. So I think of ways now on how to how to afford something. How can I afford that? And there's another question I sometimes ask myself. Who's got my money? <laughs> I got that from Grant Cardone. Okay? But that's but since well since uh since the Jordan Belfort incident, I lost faith in the guy. But I give credit where credit is due. 
He's right on that. All right. It's it's a mindset thing. It's a mindset thing. If you're if you're a prospect, if you're a seller, if you're if you're just an ordinary person, all right. It's a good it's a good question to ask yourself. Who's got my money? Okay. So don't tell yourself and anybody else that you don't have any money. Just say, I can't afford it right now. Okay? Because if you say, I can't afford it, well, you won't afford it for life. Okay? You will not afford the things you want to buy until the day you die. All right? The universe doesn't work that way. Words like uh, don't, can't, they're all negative in nature. If you regularly say those things, the universe won't, won't take you seriously. Whoa! It's the end of another episode, actually. It's the end of episode one, okay? So we're actually done with the first episode. Now, I am proud of you for sticking it out with me. Right? I am so proud of you. If you found value in this video, let me know in the comment section, okay? Let me know. And don't forget the drill. See that? Hit my logo to subscribe. Hit the bell somewhere, somewhere down here. And comment with done. Now, doing that drill keeps you in the loop when it comes to my channel. All right? Never forget that. So, thank you for watching it all. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hanggang sa muli, Money and Light Movement.